Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Now, the sales happened quite a while ago, well maybe a month and a half since the last one, um, but this is the final cut of um, my top yearlings from the four major sales across the summer and autumn period. And those four sales are obviously Magic Millions, English Classic, English Melbourne Premier, and the English Australia Easter sale. So I'm going to quickly go through the 17 lots and just say a few notes about them of why I had them in my top 17. So this is final cut. Some of these horses have been in my previews and reviews, etc. But let's move on. So um, first from the Magic Millions is the capitalist Moss Beat uh, Colt. Bought by China Horse Club for $550,000. Um, this horse possesses... A lot of power it looks like it'll be a sprinter for china horse club probably trained up in sydney i imagine so keep an eye out for that one um the i'm invincible pasa salbano colt was bought by legend racing for nine hundred thousand dollars whether they keep it down here with john sadler or send it up to lesbridge in sydney i'm not too sure personally i hope it goes to lesbridge even though i am a victorian um maybe it might get to an everest like classic legend it did remind me a lot of classic legend this horse um uh, obviously, with the power it, it's got and the you know sharp sort of compact build, same as Classic Legend, so I can see why it was nine hundred thousand dollars. I identified this next one as my best horse for the Magic Millions sale before the sale happened, and it ended up selling for one point nine million. The I'm Invincible Colt by Suspicious, bought by Tom Magnier, Coolmore, and Chris Waller's going to train it. This horse um, could be anything. It's, it looks like a real runner, and I hope it is too. Although. Price is quite high. So moving on to the English Classic sale now, the Dundee Lures Colt um, reminded me a lot of Castle Vecchio. So it's going to get over that 1,600, 2,000 meter, you know, journeys. Uh, sold for $320,000. Mick Price bought it. His three-year-olds go outstandingly. Um, the next one's a bit of a value pick at 100,000. It got passed in. Piero Pussycat Dream, the Colt. Um, yeah, I'm not sure who it's gone to. It'll go to somebody, obviously, but. I'm not sure who it is now because it said passed in on the English website, but gee, it looks it looks pretty good. It looks like a a long a big sort of quality horse. Uh, I'm trying to find the right word, sort of big and large and um, yeah, just looks like a runner that um, with a big build can um, p um, get that under the racetrack. Gee, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, but yeah, this cult is a value pick of mine. Um, the next one, the Piero subtitle cult, was um, purchased by David Smith in WA. He trains at Kalgoorlie and he bought it for $300,000. So that one's going to be good. Also getting over a trip is that horse. Um, and the last one, Star Witness, Dinkum, uh, Dinkum Diamond, the filly. The first filly we're actually going to um, mention went to Bjorn Baker up in Sydney for $200,000. Um, this this filly's related to Graf. Um, and it looks that way as well, so it should be going well. Moving on to the English Premier, uh, sorry, the Melbourne Premier, where um, we got six. So the written Tycoon La Paris Philly, bought by Mick Price for 360000 again, um, is going to be sort of that sharp sprinter. Obviously, written Tycoon produces a lot of those, um, and it looks to possess a lot of quality. The next one, the Exceeding Excel Royal Bender Cult. I'm hoping this is a sort of an alpha, the next Alpha Oro, because um, Matt Laurie's training it. Bought it for three hundred thousand. I really like it. Um, so yeah, that's going in there. And the the best value pick of the whole sales is this next one, the two lot two nine eight of the English Melbourne Premier Pride of Dubai Yume Cult, bought by Tony Noonan for seventy k. G. I thought it would go for over 200, but maybe because this is by Pride of Dubai and he hasn't got as big of a reputation as some other size, might just have fallen short of that price tag. But 70k is an absolute bargain for this cult. Um, walks well, looks well, reminds me a little bit of Cyril A. Miss, and we know what um, what level that's got to. So yeah, really happy and excited to see what this Pride of Dubai cult does. Hoping I can prove everybody wrong. Um, when it steps down to the racetrack. Okay, the next one, the Exceed Excel Velour Colt. Going to be trained by the Rosemont Victorian Alliance. If you don't know who that is, they've got Dual Brereton. That's the Rosemont colours with the blue sort of sleeves. Um, yeah, and they name all their horses after former AFL players. So, um, yeah, this, this Colt obviously possesses a lot of quality as well. There's It's why they're all in... Um, this sort of bracket as well on my Excel spreadsheet. So um, 
that one's going to do well. The Capitalist Wind on Tide took my eye the moment I saw it. PR Funds bought it. Off the top of my head, I can't remember whether it's going to either New South Wales or Victoria, but it's going to one of them. 260k, I think, is about its right price. Um, lot 473, the Exceed Excel Dully's Weak Philly. Um, I don't know how you pronounce that. Is it Jakers or Jackers? Um, that's a Victorian company, so that's going to go to a Victorian trainer. Not sure which one yet. Remind me, remind me a bit of a September run. It was sort of a compact, um, powerful filly. Um, not overly big, but 180k I think was a uh, steal, and I, and I think, yeah, that can do some things on the racetrack as well. So, English Australia Easter, most of these ones were in my preview for um, that video that I did. So, the I'm Invincible Unassailed Colt was my best of the sale. That ended up selling for $450,000 to Brad Widdup Racing. That's in Sydney. Um, yeah, and that's a big sort of uh, stallion-made horse that will do well. The Fastnet Rock Charlotte um, Colt as well that I said, it went to Annabelle Nation for 250 k I think. Considering the average price of the horses in that sale, it's an absolute steal. Um, this one, I thought, sorry, this next one, I thought went for a bit more than what it should have. The Spirit of Boom Meow Philly. Um, I put that in my preview as a value runner for the sale, um, but Cliff Brown snapped it up for 440k. Um, this is a real blue diamond contender, um, and I'm so glad to see it go for so much. Well, not glad. I was hoping it would go for a small amount because I thought it was a value pick, but um, yeah, I can't wait to see what it does on the racetrack because I think it's a real blue diamond contender. And the last one, again, bought by the Rosemont Victorian Alliance is the Snitzel Port Vondre. I hope I pronounced that right. Colt, $500,000. Um, yeah, again, took my eye. That's It's going to do well on the racetrack. So hopefully you're still watching by now, but um, those are my top 17 horses of the four major sales across Australia um, in 2022. So, yeah, I would have liked to put a bit more value in there, but it's I'm trying to pick the best ones, and the best ones don't come for a small amount. But thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more content shortly.